Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here, and welcome back to the second episode of Making Money in Ultimate Team with the Discard Team Method. But today, I've received two packs for the pre-order and the season tickets. Unfortunately, I haven't really utilized the season ticket yet in terms of buying packs for cheap. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm probably gonna do a bit later when there's Team of the Seasons and stuff. Uh, I'll save some money for uh, that time of the year, but for now, uh, I'll focus on this, and that's what I want to play, but I might just use coins, who knows, but here, uh, we'll see, if you want to see pack openings, uh, as I said, I'm going to do this series to make a lot of coins through this method, then when team of the year, team of the season, and other special packs are out, that's when I will use the coins I make in this series, instead of uh, buying with real money, so here, we've got Nordvitz and Spahic, a lot of these things, I'm not going to, like, even these chemistry styles, I'm probably just going to sell them, uh, for profit, of course, but everything I'm just going to send to my club for now, so I can just do the part of this series, unless I get like a inform whatever stock, so I have him in a team. Um, I'll send the two to the list. And of course, I'm making extra coins from this, but this is just like two packs, so it's not going to be, it's not going to be a big overall effect to, to my overall coins. Hopefully, you can see throughout this method, I'm not going to obviously open packs with real money. I'll just keep it. Okay. Well done, EA. I can't open my pack. Let's try again. Uh, I'm not sure if you noticed this as well, but this is like EA, like, you know, at their finest. You're trying to open your packs, pretty much that you've paid for, uh, through P... What's this one for? Okay, what's this? A season ticket. Yep, paid for that. Paid for the season ticket. Want to open my pack? Go on, EA, give me my pack. Thank you, you gave me the pack. But <laughs> it'll probably be someone crap anyway. Or some things crap. Let's see what it is. Anyone of notes, Godin, Lambert, and Adrian... Like I said, no one of notes, but I, I will do like I said, I'll just uh, store them into the club and deal with them at a later date because this series is based on the money making with the discard team method. Some people don't think it works and to some people who like the previous video, I want to show you how it actually does work. I do, I really want to prove it and how much you can make throughout this, especially playing in seasons with the extra coin bonuses. It does help a lot, and maybe a few episodes in, you'll you'll or, or, or I will showcase it more. Like when your players run out of contract, what you do then, uh, when you quick sell them, and all that kind of thing. And of course, you get injuries along the way, unluckily, so uh, you have to deal with that as well. But for now, you play until their fitness is bad as well, whichever runs out most, the fitness or the contracts, whatever's first. Uh, obviously, fitness doesn't go to zero, but when it's like too bad, like below seventy, and then obviously you'll quick sell them. And that's how you make the coins, pretty much. And of course, you have to be a kind of good player. And this is another reason why I want to do this. Uh, of course, you know, my Barcelona career mode, everyone says I'm crap at the game or whatever. That's why I want to show an ultimate team. Because people say other people are better than me when I'm playing against the CPU. So how do you know if other people are better than me if I'm not playing against other people? That's why you should watch this ultimate team uh, series, where I'll probably, most of the time, I'll be facing people with better teams than me in high divisions. And I'll just do this white one and a bit of black and let's go and hopefully we can win but yeah this is not about a result anyway this is just about making coins and hopefully showcasing that again two games in a row we face Aubameyang as a striker and then he's got Manjukas for the height they've got a pacey guy and a strong guy uh, that's very good with headers I can tell this is going to be bad uh, I have to uh, definitely play to my best you saw my team my team well you saw the value I bought it for less than 4,000 coins a lot of players, the shiny ones, about 700, and the non-rares uh, for about 400 or 350 compared to his team. How much, I don't know how much Aubameyang is worth because I haven't never even used him. So let's see. Hopefully I can uh, get a good result. And these, compared to my new career mode, Portsmouth, these will be edited so I can show more games and uh, whatever because, yeah, I want to play through more so you can actually see the increasing of the coins. So Mandzukic coming in. Okay, defended so far. Okay, defended. There we go. Nice defense. Go Chico. Chico could move in now. Play the ball. Nice. But the Jagger, we don't have the pace. It's like no pace against the paces guys ever in their team. Oh, dive. Not today. The Jagger come in. Well done. Oh, he caught that. He knew what I was doing. And I could tell this is a match where I would sort of play for the draw because. Uh, yeah, I can tell he's controlling the match a bit. Like, his passing is very good. And lob through balls. He tries to exploit that a lot. Well, everyone does, to be honest. So, it's not like he's just the only one. Everyone does, even myself. Like, I'm not uh, saying I don't. It's just... Like, when you use, when people do it against you, 
like it seems overpowered but when you do it yourself it's hard um leave in your comments if that's how you feel sometimes like when your opponent does it uh you feel like they're doing it so easily and it's so difficult for you to do it but it definitely matters your tactic as well like this guy he's dominating right now and yeah he deserves to score that i'm gonna have no way through I'm, it'll only be a lucky goal if i score oh intercept what did i say it'll be a lucky goal if i score oh Okay, what happened? I was going to get a goal. Should it be advantage? That should have been advantage. Or a red card. This should actually... Shouldn't that be a red card? He just took me out and I scored. Oh, no. If I miss this... Well, Giggs penalty 96. Okay, I'll take that. Reg oh, that was crap. Yeah, I'm going to miss. Well done, EA. Well, <laughs> that was lucky. It was pretty crap that I did it. And he just stood forward. And I just went for the low side, as you can tell by my reactions. I knew, I thought I was going to miss for sure because it was a poor pen. Like I hit it, well, I hit it pretty bad, not in the green. But you know, I finished it well, I suppose. Just low. Uh, to me, that's a really good penalty because most people go high. They either stay straight like that or they go high. So if you do it low, they won't save it. I think anyway. So now we're just waiting for this guy. Actually, I just want to check if I have any messages at all because normally you see two messages already. That's what they see. This guy says. Hello, you got FIFA 12. Why would I want FIFA 12? <sighs> no idea. Can we just play? See, I'm getting asked if I'm playing FIFA 12. Uh, two years later, <laughs> FIFA 14 is out. Uh, and yeah, I'm probably not going to get Xbox, Xbox One, I should say, or FIFA, or PS4. Uh, because yeah, I basically have... You probably think I do YouTube videos. I have a lot of money. Well, I don't have over 100k subscribers, so I don't get paid the thousands... Uh, like some people do. Uh, well, not yet, anyway. Um, yeah, so I don't have money to buy that. So I'm not going to be buying that anytime soon. Uh, because I, pro I don't get as much as you think. Only the biggest YouTubers get heaps. That's, yeah, to, to afford, like, super expensive stuff. So, uh, yeah, don't think I could easily get that. So I probably won't even be getting that till next year sometime, depending on my, how my YouTube channel goes. So if you want that, it's all up to my subscribers, pretty much. Not up to me. Come on, Wes Brown. I can tell this guy's probably going a bit attacking, I think. But it's probably hard to tell. Dejaga. Nice. Not nice. Benzema. Okay, did he put Benzema on? He's got Lucas. Well done, Malumbu. Nice-ish pass. And of course, if I was this guy, I would definitely be expecting to win. Uh, because you can just bail, you can tell by the quality of the players and how much coins. Like if you had his team, you would be expecting to win this match, no doubt. Uh, and yeah, that's why I like beating people who have expensive teams. I don't think this guy would use Microsoft points. It's not that highly valued, but I like it when I do beat with this kind of team. It's just yeah, it's so fun. That's why I don't spend money like real money um, anymore. I only would do it for entertainment purposes for YouTube. But if I didn't do YouTube anymore, like if I never, or if I never started YouTube. Um, yeah, I wouldn't buy packs anymore. I would just do this method to make a lot of coins because that's what I did like in FIFA 12. Come on. And it was very good. Of course, you open packs here and there, but nothing like over like so much money. Like it's just a waste of money. Who would spend like an unrealistic amount of money on virtual cards that you can't use in the next year's game? I would never spend like thousands like some people do right here. Okay, cover this well. Okay, that was well covered. I'll probably give it away again. Oh, okay. This guy's on. Oh, nice tackle. I can tell, yeah, this guy's a pretty good player. I'm not surprised he's in these high division. But, yeah, I can't do anything. My player's quality is... Like, the dribbling is not great. Okay, Farfan, no doubt he's going to cross this. Just have to contain it. See, he's going to go for the cross, but I'm trying to put it in an awkward position where it's going to be hard to score. And he nearly did. See, that's... When he can't do anything running through the middle, he just go... But I did defend that well. Hey, he probably want to watch the replay again because he thought he should have scored. That's why I guess they watch the replays, not really sure. Like, why do you watch your replays? Okay, now go. Adebayor, stay on. Stay on. Stay on. Shoot. Oh, penalty. Two. <laughs> Come, surely you have to get a red card by now. Both of them were intentional. Finally, at least a yellow for Alaba. That was intentional. I was in on goal. And that should have been red probably, but... It probably won't be. Well, obviously it wasn't. So gigs. Now I'm going to trick him on what I'm going to do. And hopefully it works. Gigs. This guy's just standing straight. 
Obviously, he has no idea. No, he just stands straight. Too easy. It's like he doesn't want to save it for whatever reason. So there we go. Bang, two pens to get in the lead. And both pens were deserved. I probably would have scored both times. So don't just say, like, you just scored from penalty goals. Uh, that I would have scored both times. I would have just went with the finesse shot low with Adabayor on that occasion. Uh, would have been, well, not 100% sure I would have scored, but it would have been a good chance. Malumbu, so you know chance going through there. What could I do? Oh, it could be a corner. He is, so I go full attacking. Uh, I try and utilize this. His keeper couldn't reach it. Giggsy put it in. Put in a dangerous ball. And uh, now let's go. Defensive. At least for now, so we can get my players back. Fafan, cover his crossing area. Look, I know he's going to cut back here, so I'm covering it. I, I know what he's going to... Now he's going to try and go to the opposite side. I know what their plan is. See? He can't, you can't do anything through the middle. Oh, good save. Very well. Up for this match, definitely. And because I'm on ultra-defensive, somehow I'll concede this corner. I can just tell. Oh, good save. Well, it was on target. It was looking for a goal. But I'm not sure why we would do the scissor kick from there. Like, it's a bit... Oh, Giggs on goal. Obviously, he's not going to sprint past here. So he has to come back in. Oh, he did well there. Because, obviously, as I said, it was really hard for him to score. Put it. It was offside. Why? <laughs> you think your players will be smarter. Like, well... Nice intelligence, EA. I thought you were supposed to improve the intelligence, not make it worse. Go to Jag over the top. Now... No, there's a bit too much on it, but it could be a dangerous ball if he doesn't deal with it well. And he doesn't. The Jagger again. He's decent on long shots. Oh, he went again. Here comes another. Oh, Giggsy. Hat trick for Giggsy. He's back. Superstar. And that's why I have Giggs in the team. You put Most people wouldn't have him in because of his pace, but you can see the influence already. Great shot by the Jagger. Then Giggs was there to pounce. And that's the difference. Some slower players, older players, have good intelligence and they'll be they'll position themselves to score those kind of goals. Like maybe just a pacey guy who's weak and he's just a young player wouldn't have that intelligence. So, okay, this guy's going to go for the cross because he can't do anything else because he's a noob. Most, uh, To be honest, most guys in Division 1, they're just noobs, but they know how to... Well, I wouldn't say they're noobs. They just know how to... They know how to exploit the game. They know all the exploits. That's the best. I wouldn't say they're good players. Of course, some are good players, but some just exploit the the ways to get goals. And to be honest, I do that as well. So I don't think I'm the best player at all. So don't think I'm trying to say that. I'm just... Okay, Dejaga. He seems good from long shots. Ooh. Fantastic start. Brunt. Finesse shot. Just the way that... Yeah, waste those extra seconds. Even if he scores, you would think... See? Great defending. Three at the back is excellent for containing... Out of any formation, they're the best for containing those lob through balls. Oh, great, Malumbu. He gets back a lot and defends solid. Almost like another centre-back. Okay, get in. Whoa, that, yeah, that was a good goal. Yeah, th nah, this guy, he's got some skills. He knows how to do certain skills uh, to score goals. So that definitely was a quality goal. But I just want to hold on to this result and he's just running around like a weird... Okay, he didn't even want to watch the replay. If I scored that, I definitely would have seen. Uh, but I think he knows he's going to lose. So I just want to hold on to this result, especially... Like, I deserve to win this. Like, I don't deserve to lose, like, to a scripted 90 minute goal. Win it, please. Just... Oh, I'll go out of my all. There you go. I'm not going to risk it. Ha, I meant to do that. Giggs with four. Oh, he could have got four. <laughs> Amazing effort from Giggs. Patrick Giggs was the he won the match for us pretty much he got the two penalties and one very important goal and he was the man of the match uh, so picking up that award we had the same shots on target probably deserved to be a draw but we did well it's a very good start to this season I'm not sure why I'm almost playing better with a worse team I'm not sure how that works out some people talk about handicap but I don't buy into that I just think when people have better teams you expect to win more like that guy he probably expected to win against me and expected it to just happen and uh, obviously, he know when I got goals, he had to pull out his tricks like he did with the last goal, but the game was over then. Uh, we're playing better. We're playing uh, really good as a team. You see Giggs with his goals. He's done excellently. He's picked up some assists as well, uh, which is very good. So it shows you don't need pace. Pace is not an... Of course, pace helps. But you see Aubameyang, the previous match, of course, yeah, he did something good, but this match we just played now, like the match in the previous episode, 
Uh, Aubameyang got three goals against me, but this guy, um, I don't think he scored one uh, with me. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, different. It really depends on your formation and uh, different things that result into the games. Just choose this uh, choose this kid again. It seems to be uh, proving good luck for me. At the Now at the I'm Tech Arena, playing away match now. So Imperium, he has an EPL team, judging by the name. And yeah, it's a solid team. Like This team is way above value on my team. So did I get any fancy messages from anyone? Or was it just that other guy um, who thought I was playing FIFA 12? So I'll just accept him. I accept anyone. So if you want to be my friend on Xbox, just yeah, go ahead. So this is going to be definitely a hard team to have Kyle Walker at right back. Whew, like, how do you stop that? It's like impossible to run past. But that's a good thing. Like, I don't have to... I shouldn't focus on the pace then. I'll just play whatever way I have been doing. I'm not sure how. Come on. Please just play. Martin Tyler, Alan Smith. Come on. What is he actually waiting for? No idea. Is he sending me a message or something? No. Like, I don't get it. Why do you think people wait long to see their team? Do they want to see your subs or whatever? He's got Del Piero. Every single guy almost... Well, not every single. A lot of people from Australia, they just have Del Piero on the bench. Well, most of the people from Sydney... Or, like, Italians. They probably have Del Piero and they just put him on when you're when they're winning. Uh, just to think they're too good. Uh, why don't you put Del Piero from the start? You're, yeah, you're, like, you're scared of, your, like, not getting on your chances when you're through on the defense because he's not fast. That's exactly why you don't have Del Piero. You just have him on the bench. For, like, to, to just, like, come on when you're obviously winning. Go, Gafran. I can tell this is going to be another... Oh, that's on. Yep, yeah, that is on. Go, Giggsy again. Giggsy again. Oh, it was on target, obviously. But they were closing down on pressure. But yeah, that's good. Giggs just put in a short one here. Short one. Short one. Oh, Chico, what was that rubbish? Well done, Giggs. Moving into central midfield. There we go. There's the ball played. Now over top for Gufran. Use your pace, Gufran. 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 Another shot. We're on the attack today. We're definitely dominating uh, this opponent. But we need to capitalize on our opportunities this time. Goal! Wow, you cannot get closer than that. You cannot. De Jagger. Oh, he's going to launch one. He's going to launch one! Whew, I don't think I've ever dominated a match so much. Like, had these shots in just 20 minutes. Wow. Especially with this kind of team as well. Okay, got to be careful here. He's probably got pacey players. Well, he obviously does. Good pressing. They're forced back into defense. They're actually almost running out of ideas. They've got the players in space, but once they get to this... Oh, great. Defending Checo. What a chick. Whoa. He's a fantastic defender. He had the bullet, like body strength there. and Wow. Well done, Chico. See, sometimes these cheap players can definitely impress. But what is the odds that they get one chance and then they score from that? I wouldn't be surprised. Malumbu. Nice passing here. You open the attack. Now go to Gufran. It's going to be one of those games again. Gufran. Oh, yeah. Johan Gufran. And if I... I don't know how to say his name. Is it Gufran? No, that's what I've been calling him. If you know. Uh, if it's different, just leave in your comments. I do appreciate that so I can pronounce him uh, better in future episodes. But that was nice. It's, it's so easy on the finesse when they bring the goalkeeper up. Just do it low to the bottom. Yeah, like a low shot. Low power. You don't have to do heaps of power on the finesses, especially when they run their keeper up. So interceptions, once again. Tackle. We're going to go through again, this time to Giggs. Try and get to Gafran. Ooh. Try to make the impact. Well, that should run out. Surely that should run out. I tried to run my keeper up there to force him into... So you're just going to abuse the crosses. That's all Yeah, that's all you can do, mate. Of course. Abuse the crosses. Well done. And the Mallet winning the header as well. What's the odds of that? Uh, you really shouldn't be. You should be able to defend that better. But of course, if there's cross abuse everywhere. Play it through. Play it through. Cut in, please. Oh, uh, won the corner. We were never going to create a chance from there. So that was a bit lucky. Giggsy. 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 Oh! <laughs> Emmanuel puts it home. That was a great volley finesse by Adebayor. Pure quality. 
no headed abuse needed for me. Just quality finishing, unlike some. Look at that finish. Finesse on the volley. Pure strike. Now he doesn't know what to do. Even the abuse of crossing cannot help him. Didn't want me to get through. Poor touch. <laughs> well, I'm going to be happy because I'm winning, obviously. And hopefully can have a late charge. Some of my, one of my players in space, but it takes forever to get it. <sighs> hopefully they don't get a late one. Okay, Giggsy. Gufran is through. Gufran. Gufran! Oh, yeah. 45th minute goal. Maybe I should just use this team all the time, like these cheap players. I seem to get the luck going my way. Just knocked in off the post there. As Gufran puts in another uh, for his team. <laughs> it's lucky to get that, but it could have been a goal on the first attempt anyway. Oh. But admittedly, I have gotten better at FIFA, like starting my Portsmouth one. If you've been watching that, you can see the evidence of that, definitely. Sidwell putting a dangerous cross in goal. That is how you do it. 60th minute goal, Gufran. That was a fantastic cross by Sidwell, and also equally matched by the run of Gufran. That was a perfect run. That was an abused cross straight to someone who's already there. Uh, Gufran was behind the defenders, and he made an excellent run, perfectly timed. So, if I was this guy, I would probably much so just, just give up at this stage. You can't really win it from here. So, that's pretty sad for him with the kind of... Look, Juvetic, heaps of expensive players, Premier League quality. And I've got cheap Premier League quality. And now he's just, yeah, he's giving up uh, like they all do against me. That's why I had, to do, I had to do this when I saw people saying other people are better than me. I can understand if you say I'm bad because of losing against the CPU, but saying other people are better than me. Here's the proof. This is proving I'm not bad. This is proving I'm not bad, definitely. Here we go. Defending it well. And yeah, you've got to consider my team is even like way worse. Definitely not as good. Go Giggs. De Jagger. Not going to run past from there. But then I'll go like this and I'll give it away. Da da da. It's all over. Come on. 90th minutes. Last attack for them. And they just give it away. And I give it away. And he's through. No doubt he'll go for the cross or the lob. <laughs> uh, no idea how he did that. But again, it's pointless. Uh, that was definitely a quality goal. But at the end of the day, I've got the points. Like I was like less caring then. So I just thought, uh, might as well let him have a chance. See what he can do. And... And that should really be dealt by the keeper. But yeah, it's probably impossible. So here's this guy, Imperium. Tries to get through, but not happening this time. 4-2 win. He was always going to get a late, like, 90 minute scripted goal. Some people say they're not scripted, but they're just so often, like, then tell me what it is. But like, yeah, I'm not complaining at all because I won this. Definitely. Ha and I had 23 shots and 15 of those were on target. A very good start with this kind of team, with how cheap it is and the quality of it. Three wins in a row. Really good chance. A really good play to get promoted. So let's see our current... Uh, where, where are we sitting currently? We only need three more wins out of seven to get promoted. Fantastic. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you guys next time.